excuse me, uh, 14182 Cranbrook, and you'll never believe what happened. So, <laughs> I, I don't want to say you should recognize this job, but you should recognize this job. And, uh, you'll never, it's like I've never seen anything like this, but, all right, Neil, you remember us? We built this, this paver, these pavers here, me and you. Well, um, so she put a pool in after we had, after we had left, and this is what they did. <laughs> Whoa, I couldn't believe it. And I didn't even get called here. I got called to the neighbor's house to do an estimate, and I saw this, and I was like, holy shit. And then I went and knocked on her door and asked her what happened, and she told me, and then she said she needs it back to normal by 4th, 4th of July. And so I said, well, we can do that, and so we're doing it. Um, so at the time that they're going to be doing concrete about four feet out around this, this whole whole pool, uh, they're supposed to do a rough grade, and it doesn't look that bad. So what we're going to be doing is sodding all the areas that need sodding, and I have no way of measuring it, so you're going to have to do what you got to do to measure it. Um, and then I'm pretty sure, okay, so sod is going to come up through here. Um, we got to identify the pavers that are under here and pull them out. And then we're going to reinstall this paver, uh, paver walkway. Uh, they sink our pavers right here. So I'm not even sure if there's pavers under here, to be honest with you, anymore. Let me see. Oh, no. See, that's our sand. Apparently, they took the pavers out. So, uh, basically, we just want to clean this area up and then reinstall the pavers. Are they under here? Shit, I don't even know. Excuse me for this really jacked up video. I don't know what the hell. If this is our sand or, or if this is our pavers. Fuck, I don't know what's going on. I don't remember where. Yeah, there's concrete here. I know we installed pavers here. So we're going to have to reinstall the pavers there. Um, we're going to redo the edging here that ran into this here. And then we're going to uh, we're going to be redoing these beds. Weed block, black mulch. We're going to be rebuilding these retaining walls. So um, you can keep this retaining wall the same. They're going to be pouring concrete, but if this wall is further uh, taken out, what we're going to do is sh shorten the bed size, like do like a, a smaller bed, and then let it kind of wrap into there, and then run our aluminum edging into it. Um, over here, it's been preserved somewhat, uh, but she wants it regraded and black mulch put in on weed mat. Uh, same thing here. We're going to plant uh, dianthus. We're going to go three, four, five, six. Bring about eight dianthus for this area, and this is all good. We're just going to um, we're just going to replace it with black mulch on weed mat. Um, just cut a cap in there, and then start the aluminum edging back, and then carry it to the edge there. And then uh, put weed mat and put, um, just put like a, a, a river rock over here or pea gravel, either one. I'd say river rock. Um, and then here, we're going to grade all this. And I don't know if you can see over here. But we're going to grade that and we're going to sod that. Um, on the back line, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels of fence. So seven and a half so what is that 60 feet we're going to need 60 feet of bronze edging here to replace what has been destroyed uh, we're going to regrade these beds just in the area where they like swamp the beds and then we're going to uh, put weed mat over top of what's already here and then black mulch back here too so uh, yeah it's in a thin layer of black mulch back here since it's on weed mat and we're going to be bringing five shrubs, but I got to figure out what shrubs to bring. 
and you're just gonna kind of like plant them where any of the old ones were destroyed. Uh, most of the stuff looks good, so I know it's probably just gonna be a couple fire chiefs, so we'll say two fire chiefs, and then we'll just put a couple sun perennials over here. Uh, so I'll pick some sun perennials to put in over here. I see a rose here that could be replanted. Um, okay, so I know this video is all over the place, but it's kind of hard to describe in the current scenario. But just to recap, anywhere there's not concrete, grade and sod, including on the sides on the other side of here and on the other side of over there. So that's all graded and sodded. Um, and rebuild this retaining wall that goes in it. it like, and it may have to be shortened. I hope not. I hope we can use what's here, but it may have to be shortened and go around that tree, and then it tucked in to the pad to their wood patio, and then we got to rerun the aluminum edging down to the corner of that concrete, and then we got to redo the beds with black mulch on top of weed mat. Over there, we're rerunning aluminum edging. Back here, we're rerunning aluminum edging, and the rest is just uh, mulch, black mulch on weed mat. Oh, other than rebuilding this patio section. So, and getting under there and seeing what's going on. There's already a base material under there, so we're probably just going to have to rescreed it with sand and then put the bricks back on top. We may have to buy new bricks. If those bricks are crappy looking and can't be pressure washed, once it's done, just buy new bricks. But uh, that'll be it.